Hello everyone, welcome to Royal Courses and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to make a text or shape layer look like it's a part of the texture in Photoshop. So here's the image that we are using as a background. As you can see we have the wrinkles on our surface. So if we want to put the text or shape layer on it, we're going to use Photoshop displacement filter and we're going to use the background as a displacement map. So the first thing that we'll do is smoothen out the background surface. To do that, we're going to add some Gaussian blur. So I'm going to come up, go to filter, go to blur, and click on Gaussian blur. We're going to give it a blur of just one pixel. The next thing that we'll do is going to add the hue and saturation adjustment layer. So we're going to come up to adjustments, click on hue and saturation, and we're going to put the saturation all the way down so that we get the black and white image. Next, I'm going to go to file, click on save as, and I'm going to save it as our displacement map. After that is done, I'm going to reopen the original file. Now I'm going to use the text tool and create some text. Because displacement maps can only be applied to rasterized layers or smart objects, so we are going to convert our text into a smart object. To do that, you're just going to go to the Layers panel, right-click on your text layer, and click on Convert Smart Object. Now we're going to come up to Filter, go to Distort, and click on Displace. The default values for the horizontal and vertical scale are 10, and we're going to stick with those and the other settings only apply if our background is a different size than our displacement map which in this case it is not so I'm just going to leave them as they are I'm going to hit OK next I'll find the displacement PSD file that we previously saved and double click on it you already see how the text is wrapped around the surface of our background based on the color information in our displacement map. It uses the black and white values of the displacement map to create a displacement and it looks like our text is really on the surface of our background. Next, you can come over to a text layer. We can take the fill down to 0% and we can double click on our text layer so we can open up the layer style dialog box. Then we can apply all kinds of effects to make our text look more realistic. So the first thing that I'm going to do is add a color overlay. And I'm going to make it a medium blue color. Like this one. I'll change the blend mode to linear burn. And then I'm going to add a bevel and emboss. Here I will go and change the style to emboss. I'll change the direction to down and I'll change the angle to 45 degrees so it can match the light source. To make this effect even more realistic we can go ahead and change the highlight mode from screen to linear dodge and the shadow mode from multiply to linear burn. And we can take the opacity for each of them down to about 15% like so. We can increase the size just for a little bit and soften to about 2 pixels. Then we can go and hit OK. It's a subtle effect but it can make it more realistic as you can see when we turn it on and off. And that will conclude the tutorial. I will put the time steps for each steps in the description to make it easier for you to remind yourself. And also I'll be putting the resource files that I used in this video so you can try to recreate this effect at home. Thank you all for watching.